All right, this uh, this next poem, I'm gonna kind of set it up a little bit for you. I want you to imagine that there was a Van Gogh exhibit in Little Rock, Arkansas, and a thief stole one of the Van Gogh paintings and ran off with it. And he was finally run down in Monroe County, Arkansas by a small town sheriff. And the national media converge on that little town for a press conference with the sheriff to hear about how they recovered the painting. <laughs> sheriff, Sheriff Conway, Sheriff, Sheriff, we understand there was a physical struggle to apprehend Mr. Dobbs. Yes, sir. It was like passionate coitus as we rolled and moaned in the dewy green of the grass, biting, scratching, tangling, while the moon sat silent on the table of the sky like a cold, stale biscuit. <laughs> Sheriff Conway, how did you locate Dobbs? I stopped Dobbs on Highway 49, my car glittering blue in the sultry southern night. I approached his vermilion Pontiac and he stepped out handsomely, starlight dancing on his roach of hair, a mosquito flirting with the pink swirl of his ear. All at once he ran. I gave pursuit and wrangled him gamely to the grass near the edge of the woods. Are there any other suspects? I'm not, not at liberty to sing of such a matter. I will say that the suspect's ears were possessed of a strange mollusk-like quality like open clamshells with clams still in them. I might even say that all human ears are unspeakably strange to me in this way. <laughs> Sheriff! Sheriff! Was the painting in Dobbs's car? <laughs> yes, ma'am. The masterpiece lay secure in the passenger seat. In the back seat, a white blanket was gathered in a cumulus bundle, suggesting the cloud of hopelessness that hangs over many third world countries today. Where is the painting now? The authorities here are holding the painting for now. Even as we speak, it is at a safe, undisclosed location, being watched over by my deputy, Thomas Burton, his mustache like a soft brown fuzzy worm sleeping on his lip. <laughs>